Hey everyone, this is Pam Kapalad, Certified Financial Planner and Accredited Financial Counselor at Brunch and Budget. And today I wanted to answer the question, should you withdraw from your 401k? The reason why everyone's asking that right now is because the stimulus package has this extra provision in it that says, if you withdraw from your 401k this year, you don't have to pay that 10% penalty. Now, what does that actually mean, right? If you normally withdraw from your 401k any other year, the rules are if you withdraw from it before you're age 59 and a half, you have to pay taxes on that money and that 10% penalty. So let's use an example. Let's say you wanna withdraw $10,000 from your 401k. Okay, you don't have to pay that 10% penalty, which means you actually save $1,000 this year by withdrawing from your 401k. The downside though is you still have to pay taxes on that money that you withdraw. What that means is, let's say you make $50,000 this year, if you withdraw that $10,000, the IRS is gonna treat it as if you made $60,000 worth of income this year. So you're paying income tax on money that wasn't actually income. The other side of it is the market has taken quite the downturn right now, which I'm sure is one of the reasons why a lot of us are considering it, right? We've already lost a lot of money in our 401k. That's what it feels like, that's what it looks like when you look at your account. The thing is though that if you don't withdraw the money, you actually haven't lost anything. And the only time that you actually lose money with your 401k or any type of investment is when you liquidate it. So by withdrawing money from your 401k, you're actually realizing those losses. And there's another really interesting tricky tax thing by doing that out of your 401k. In a normal investment account, if you withdraw the money and you take a loss, you actually get a tax deduction. And so it's called a capital loss tax deduction and you're allowed to take up to $3,000 in capital losses if you withdraw money from a regular investment account. The trouble with the 401k is that it actually counts as income when you withdraw it. So you lose that tax deduction and you have to pay taxes. You get a double whammy by pulling money out of your 401k right now. So the reason why this is happening, the reason the stipulation is happening in the stimulus package is quite honestly, the IRS is trying to raise tax revenue right now. If a bunch of people pull money out of their 401k, guess what? The, ta the IRS people are going to be raising a lot of money right now. So please, 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 if you can, use your 401k as a last resort to withdraw from. You have so many other things that you can access within the stimulus package, those $1,200 checks, the student loans being deferred for the next six months, the mortgage payments being suspended for at least a year. And so keep this in mind as you're deciding what to do with your 401k. Don't touch your face and don't touch your 401k.